Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another reading vlog. Today, in this vlog, we are reading House of Earth and Blood. I'm so excited. Uh, as you can see, I already started. She is thick. 800 pages, just shy of. Might be the biggest book I have ever read in my entire life. <laughs> um, I am annotating, as you can see. I've already gone through a whole thing of page flags, and I'm only two chapters in. <laughs> Anyways, my name is Darian. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. Uh, if you like reading vlogs, give this video a thumbs up, and uh, let me know what you're currently reading down in the comments, because I love chatting about books, which is why I do these bonus reading vlogs on my channel. Anyway, like I said, two chapters in. Gonna sit down, talk about those chapters, and then uh, get to reading. So far, I've got a head start. So if I read 50 pages a day, which is my normal reading goal, um, I shouldn't have a problem with it. And I'm enjoying it so far, which is a good sign because, you know, big fantasies like this can get real labor intensive and with annotating. But I told myself that with the move, if I need to stop annotating, that's fine. Or if I need to read it on my phone, because I originally bought the Kindle version, the ebook when it was on sale. So I have the ebook as well. So I can easily pull it up on my phone and read and annotate in there and then copy my annotations at a later date. So let's chat about what I think so far. First of all, I absolutely love Bryce and Danica's relationship. I think Sarah J Mass did such a great job setting up the relationship in the first chapter. Uh, I even made a note <laughs> in here on the first chapter that's like a big post-it note um, talking about how much I love the opening and the little things that really make the character's relationship come to life. Uh, the second point of note is that there is a lot of information in this book. I have like I think the whole of chapter two is like all um, green annotations which is like my places, things, people annotation um so yeah there's a lot of that and I instead of freaking out about it was like girlfriend go find a graphic come back to it later you don't need to know it all right now <laughs> so so far I'm really enjoying it and I'm excited to see what's gonna come eee. please excuse the obnoxious pimple on my forehead <laughs> um, I just finished chapter five, um, which if you've read this book, you know, uh, a lot happens in that chapter and I'm going to talk about it. Um, so I will do the spoiler portion like after this and then I will put it, put all of my spoiler reactions at the end. That way, if you haven't read it, there are no spoilers and you can still enjoy the vlog. Um, so yeah, I read chapter five this morning and oh, just mentally prepare yourselves if you're reading this book for chapter five. I knew that obviously there was a murder mystery involved in this book and going into it, I kind of figured out who it would happen to, but I was not prepared for what happened. But um, before I jump into the spoiler section, I just wanted to say that if you are a writer, I think that chapter five of House and Earth and Blood is such a good way to go from your setup to your catalyst. Um, and I think this book is going to have kind of two catalysts, but this is kind of the part that drives Bryce out of her like normal life. I love how Sarah J Moss um, chose to write this chapter and have it be like really, really high highs and then a really low low. Um, it just as a reader felt gut wrenching and to be like gut wrenching in five chapters into the book is I think pretty good. So now I'm going to chat spoilers. So uh, yeah, head Actually, this will be at the end of the video, so never mind. 
I feel like every reading vlog that I do is just going to include me also getting my nails done to match. <laughs> little bit of a reading vlog update. I am on chapter 12, I think. I read to chapter 12 the other day. I think I made it to chapter 12 the other day while I was getting my nails done. Um, obviously, got them done to match the book. Uh, my toes, same thing. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing that. It's just fun. Um, Anyway, so I'm at chapter 12, and it's not going exactly how I thought it would. Which is interesting, because I thought I had it, like, figured out, but I guess I do not. Um, I like Bryce as a protagonist, but I think right now a little bit of the plot is just feeling, to me, a little, um... What's the word that I'm looking for? Convenient, I guess? like how Bryce gets involved in the investigation just feels a little convenient to me. Um, maybe I won't feel that way as I read further. Um, I am about to get on an airplane and fly across the country for our move. So I am taking the book on the plane with me, but it'll be in my carry-on bag. So I probably won't get the book out, but I have the Kindle version on my phone and I also went ahead and got the audiobook so that I can listen to it on the plane if I don't feel like looking at my phone screen or if I want to do something else like on my computer or whatever. So hopefully I will make some good progress the next couple of days and have more to report. <laughs> film well the kids are around you know but uh that's my life and these reading vlogs are just chill. that's what you're gonna get um i honestly don't remember a lot of what i read on the plane because i was like half asleep a lot of the time um <laughs> really <laughs> it's like the second time you've walked behind me while i'm filming this reading vlog <laughs> You don't need a but. Um, but yeah, so I am on chapter 18 right now and I kind of want to finish part two today to include it in this reading vlog. I'm not sure if that's possible, but we'll see how much I can read in the next three hours before I have to start work. <laughs> what? Nothing. Did you walk by me again? No. <laughs> um, so I want to do if I do that, then I can have parts one and two uh, in this reading vlog. And then maybe later this afternoon when my husband gets done and when I'm done with work, we only have one car right now, obviously, um, I can go pick up the second book, which comes out today that I'm blanking on the name <laughs> of, but the Crescent, second Crescent City book comes out today. So uh, I'm gonna go pick that up today probably just to celebrate, um, get a little me time this afternoon. But right now I wanna see how much I can read of this book in the next three hours before I have a work meeting. <laughs> okay, so I just got to chapter 20. I have so many theories. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, I just, it's really funny because right before I finished chapter 19, I was actually gonna come on here and say that I feel like I'm getting into a lull in the story where I wasn't as excited to pick it up and read it um but chapter 20 chapter 19 kind of just like sent my head on a tailspin um of theories so I'm gonna put the rest of this clip in the spoiler section
sorry, what did I just read? The twists in this book, man, jeez, I was not prepared for that. I just finished chapter 23, holy crap. <laughs> Okay, I just got to chapter 26 and the last couple of chapters have been a really good um, look at the like, how can this get worse exercise that writers do, which is like, you put your characters into a situation and then you say like, and then the worst thing that could happen happens <laughs> to them in that situation. And it's been really interesting to read this book from a writer's perspective also because I'm just getting like so many good uh, ideas for using these tools and methods of writing in my own writing. And it's really good to be able to recognize them and see them in other books. Um, so yeah, really excited. Just got to chapter 26. Chapter 25, the last part, was not expecting that either. Um, so yeah, really ramping up the action and the pace of the book, which I'm excited about, but also I can't just sit here and read it all day. I really want to, so um, that's making it a little challenging for me, but uh, yeah, so far really, really enjoying this book. I'm excited to pick up the second one. So happy release day to everybody picking up Crescent City number two today, which is like House of Sky and Breath, I think. Um, so yeah, let's see how much more we can read. I just got to chapter 30 and it's getting kind of late in the day. Um, and I don't want to miss anything in the book and I also want to go enjoy the sunshine with my family So I'm gonna go ahead and end this reading vlog here um, If you want to see me read the second half of this book, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you're reading in the comments um, And yeah, I'll see you next time uh, This my reading vlogs are usually bonus videos. So there will probably be another video this week So make sure you're subscribed and turn on those little bell notifications so you never miss a video or a reading vlog when I post them um, So yeah, enjoy house of sky and breath if you're reading it and I'll see you real soon. Bye So, oh my gosh, chapter five, uh, I'm like devastated. I knew that Danica was gonna die, um, obviously, because like if you read the back, you know there's like a murder mystery, but I did not know that the whole pack was gonna get murdered, and I definitely didn't know she was gonna play us like that with the whole Connor thing. I mean, I guess if you look at the back, you kind of know that Connor's not like the main dude in the, in the, uh, story, but man, she just like strung me along. Ugh. And I knew kind of going through the first couple of chapters when he was mentioned that it was going to be like a crying into club moment. Um, so I did mark a lot of his stuff with blue because I knew I was going to get attached to him and that it was going to end badly. I did not think it was going to end that badly though with the whole pack being murdered. I am shook, shook, shook. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to read more and kind of like see what happens. You know, when I knew when I saw that like the murder would kind of send Bryce into a downward spiral, I was like, oh yeah, like that's I under I believe it. Like your best friend getting murder, like you finding that um, would send you into a spiral like that. But the whole pack and like someone that she like was obviously like had feelings for and never acted on them. Yeah, so I'm super excited to read what happens next. So the whole Bryce getting involved in the investigation thing feels a little convenient to me. And I'm not really sure, like I understand that the vampire dude was killed and she was the last person that saw him. But like those two things seem like a little bit of a leap <laughs> to me. But yeah, like I was saying, my husband walked in while I was filming that. Um, it just feels a little convenient to me and uh, I'm not sure how I will feel about that later. We'll see. Um, I do really like the <sighs> inclusion of uh, Bryce's half brother who is Faye and like that tie-in that she is actually Faye and um, 
should like probably have a place at this court um, and it kind of protects her. So I'm interested to see where that goes. I think I have an idea where it's gonna go. I think it's gonna be, you know, uh, something to do with her and the court and that sort of thing. So that's where I'm at right now. Anyways, I'm enjoying the book that is the um, most important thing because you know, a book that's 800 pages, you wanna make sure that you're enjoying it if you're gonna keep reading it. So, so far, so good. So, uh, yeah. But anyways, my theory is that it is either someone who is connected to Bryce and like her father. So like I'm thinking maybe her father, her, her biological father hired uh, Fury to do that and that Fury getting her the drugs was part of a distraction um, or it is like was with from within Danica's family herself um, like her mother which um, I feel like is such like an easy guess that I feel like it's gonna be a red herring but anyways I just got to chapter 20 so yeah I'm gonna keep reading before I start reading <laughs> chapter 20. Third theory that I just thought of is that Danica isn't actually dead. Um, which would be like, not sure why or how that would be. Maybe if she thought there was a hit, maybe that's why Fury isn't talking to Bryce uh, because she's with Danica, like helping her stay hidden. Um, Cause we all know that Fury is good at that. I think that's what her name is. I hope I hope I'm not making that up. Um, but yeah, so that's my other theory. So now I'm gonna go back to reading. I was not expecting that angel to be relevant at all, let alone be Micah. Like, this has got to be like some twisted, like I feel like they're pulling my leg. 